so in this video, we're going to be comparing the XO1 Power Armor Mods Tesla Coils and Reactive Plates. Now, I haven't seen many videos out there uh, explaining the difference, and they're actually very expensive if you were to buy them. So, check out this video before you make any decisions on purchasing them. This is where you're going to find the plans at the White Spring Service entrance. So here we're going to test out the Tesla coils at White Springs, just to show you how much damage they can do. So you can find, there we go, there are some enemies. A little low level. But look how much damage they can do to these guys. And since they're low level, they're going to take a little more damage. Now normally when the enemy is a little higher level, they don't do as much. But they do touch everyone, which is a good thing. So in case somebody else takes your kill, you will get the experience for it. See, so as you can see, it takes a little while to take, see, but within uh, arm's reach, they will be affected by your Tesla coils. See? You have to be around this range, but as soon as you get here, then no. That's a good thing about ghouls. Uh, they, they tend to like to charge you. So it gets rid of them pretty quick. It dispatches them very quickly. Okay, so now we're going to test out reactive plates on enemies at White Spring. And then compare the damage uh, it does with respect to Tesla coils. There we go. There we go. Right, we got some enemies. Let's bring them outside. So with low level enemies, reactive plates are actually a little slower because they're not a constant damage. The enemies absolutely have to strike you with melee or just strike you in general in order to receive any damage. See? It's a little slow. And they absolutely have to damage you in order for any damage for them to take place. Alright. Oh crap, did he kill all the enemies here already? Okay. We're going to test it with slightly higher level enemies. See, so these are little higher enemies. See, it's doing a little damage. Not as fast as we were doing it like with the level 9s. But like a constant slow type of damage right here. See? So a slow melt, a slow melt. See? So level 62 charred feral ghouls, decent health. Right, as long as you're standing within arm's reach, you're gonna do a constant little damage here. Let's test this guy. See? Closer. See? So a little damage. I haven't shot my gun. I haven't shot my gun once. All right. So now we're gonna test out the reactive plates on higher level enemies at White Springs. Hopefully nobody has killed everything yet, because I've done this. I've maybe world hopped four times. Haven't been able to get any live ghouls. There we go. Okay. Let's check out how much damage these things can do with higher level enemies. So, not as good as the Tesla coils, actually, from, from what I'm seeing. And they absolutely have to hit you in order for any damage to happen anyway. Okay, so now we're going to test out our Tesla coils on the Super Mutant Behemoth. I'm going to compare it with the reactive plates for damage. So let's get close. 
So it seems like for higher damaging enemies, Let's see. Oh, we found a glitch where we can just bleed his health, basically. Okay, so let's test this out on a very strong melee enemy. We're using reactive plates here. Let's get its attention. Let's see how much damage it will reflect back. See? So, a little bit, right? A little bit. Let it hit, hit us one more. Hit us one more. Right? So, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, so that is my comparison video with Tesla coils and reactive plates. Hopefully, that gives you a little more insight on what to pick uh, when it comes to you making the decision. Thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.